What is up everybody, Ben Johnson here, and today's video is a little bit different. We're actually doing a follow-up to one of my previous videos where I reviewed a GBM LED light kit. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the app that goes with that light and how to get it set up. All right, welcome back to the channel. As mentioned before, my name is Ben Johnson and I'm a content creator based here in Atlanta. My goal with this channel is to be a resource to creatives through reviews, tutorials, behind the scenes content, and honest podcasts. So if any of that interests you, I'd love to invite you to subscribe and join the creative crew. It really goes a long way towards supporting this channel and it makes sure that you never miss out. All right, let's get this app set up. First things first, I just want to mention that this app is not the perfect app. It can definitely be a little buggy at times and it's not super user friendly, but you probably already know that and that's why you're here on this video in the first place because you've probably ran into some sort of a, you know, issue along the way and you're looking for answers. So hopefully this video will be that for you today. We are going to walk through this thing together. I am by no means a GBM expert or an expert at this app, but I have figured out a couple of things that worked for me and I wanted to just share that with you. So hopefully it will save you from some frustration. So the very first thing we need to do is to actually download the correct app. When you search GBM, LED or GBM light in the app store, there's actually more options than you would think. So it's a little confusing to even figure out which app is the right one. However, the one that you want to download is called GVM easily. Go ahead and download that onto your phone and then I'll meet you in the next step. Once you've downloaded the correct app and you go to open it, you'll see that the device struggles to connect. From here, go to the top left settings and then select modify Wi-Fi. Then you will be able to enter a username and password. It actually took me quite a bit of time, but after digging through the depths of the user manual, I found one small little page with super fine little print that had the correct username and password that you are supposed to use for this sign-in. I'll go ahead and put that on the screen now. Once you've entered the correct login information, you should be able to attempt to connect. Now, if your light connects at this point, awesome, you're good to go. However, if it's still having issues connecting, then go into your phone's Wi-Fi settings and make sure that you're selected on the correct Wi-Fi, which in this case would be the Wi-Fi that is coming from your GVM light. Once you're connected to the light's Wi-Fi on your phone, go back into the app and then it should finally make a connection. While you're waiting for it to connect, go ahead and start toggling the on and off button, messing with some of the sliders, and hopefully you will finally see it start to respond. Once your light is connected to your phone, you should not have to go through this process again. This is just the very first time that you get it set up. Your phone and the app and everything should remember it moving forward. So it should be pretty easy once you get past this. But as you can see, it was a little bit complicated, not so user friendly. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video uh, where I just walked you through what worked for me. I cannot guarantee that this is going to work for you or work with every GBM light. This just happened to work for me on the light that I have. If you happen to have more than one GVM light, then go ahead and set one of them as the master and put it on a specific channel. Then set your other one or multiple other ones to the slave setting and set it to the same channel. This way, when you adjust the master, the rest of them should replicate what's going on. All right, everybody, that's going to about wrap up this video. I hope that you have enjoyed this and found some value from it. If you wanna learn more about these nifty little lights, go ahead and take a look at my previous video where I go into them in detail. 
If you are interested in any of the gear that I like to use or maybe where I get my music or my video effects, I've actually gone ahead and linked all of those down in the description below as a resource to you. Before you guys leave, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, stay creative. Peace.